Good morning, everyone, and I would like to convene the um, Carroll County Delegation meeting of January 30th to order. I want to just uh, check out the dates that everyone knows when we're going to be meeting. Uh, Representative uh, Treganzer, I didn't get back to you because I couldn't remember what we were doing in February so uh, or March. So the 30th is today. We're having a delegation meeting. Then February 6th and 13th. We will also have uh, delegation meetings. I think that there may be some subcommittees after that. Uh, you have on your budget agenda who we will be listening to on the 6th and the 13th. Then we will be taking two weeks break, the 20th and the 27th. You can do whatever you want on Monday. Um, on March 5th and 12th, we will have a delegation meeting um, starting at 9 o'clock here. And I want you to reserve uh, March 22nd, no, March 26th, which is the last Monday in March. Um, if we have to come back, I will just want you to hold it. And if it's if necessary, we will hold a delegation meeting. So we have two meetings um, on the 6th and 13th of February after today, then the 5th and the 12th of March with a possibility, if necessary, on the 26th because we need to have our budget um, down to DRA before March 31st or, as the statutes say, the commissioner's budget goes into effect. So, does anybody have any questions on those? Yes, our commissioner. You won't be here on the 5th? Let's see, and we are <coughs> talking about the farm, water, sewer, jail and sheriff to the other two commissioners can take the care of the of farm. No, the 5th of March. 5th of March. You won't be here the 5th of March. Oh, okay. So that's going to be, that's when we're going to start. This is starts our deliberation. Um, does the delegation want to switch it to the 12th and the 19th so that we can have all the commissioners here on the 12th and the 19th? Yeah, you. This is March, right? Commis this, is, this would be March. Commissioner, um, I, Kenny, would you be here on the 12th and the 19th? Yes. Okay, let's switch then to um, the 19th. I think it's important that we do have a the full commissioners with us, unless the, the, unless the uh, <coughs> delegation feels differently. The February dates are the 6th, the 13th. Then we will go to March 12th and the 19th. What about the 5th? Commissioner Sorensen won't be here, so we have just canceled the 5th. Okay, everybody got that? And that'll be, the, we're going to go to the 19th for that, right? Yep, the 12th and 19th, and if necessary, on the 26th. Hopefully, we will be able to deliberate and get our business done within the two on the 12th and the 19th. Okay? All right, I would like uh, to call on the um, treasurer, Treasurer Woodmore. We do have a request, and I also have words for a motion. So, yes, sir, good morning. Yes, good morning. Uh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm Jack Woodmore, treasurer of Carroll County, and as treasurer of Carroll County, uh, I am asking permission uh, this morning to borrow up to $15 million in anticipation of taxes for the calendar year 2012. Okay. Does everybody understand what that means? We had we do this every year. Usually we do it in December, and we forgot in December to do it for you. Um, last year we gave them the same um, ability to do it. They had to. I think you went up to ten thousand uh, dollars. Ten million. Uh, last year we borrowed up to ten million. Uh, we request more because uh, it's very difficult to get permission after the fact <coughs> with the banks and all to to borrow more if we need more. Uh, so we like some some cushion. Last year we asked for 14 million. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, we only had to borrow 10, uh, but it's nice to have that cushion. Uh, obviously, we won't borrow any more than we need to borrow, and we're not allowed to borrow any more than we need to borrow. Yes, Representative Babson. Thank you, Jack. Is it a line of credit, or do you actually borrow the money? We actually borrow the money. Yeah. And what happens to the access? When does that get <coughs> the access? When does that get returned? Uh, we we return it as soon as we get tax revenue in December. Do you do it up? Proportionally, or no, does all the tax you know, the way it works, you borrow the entire amount at one point in time. So, right. uh, in February or March of this year, uh, when when finances are very slim, we'll borrow the uh, we'll probably borrow ten million like we did last year, 
Uh, and then if we need more in September or October, we may have to go back to the well to borrow of a few million dollars to get us for the end of the year. Uh, but as soon as the uh, taxes come in in December, then we pay that. Well, that's what I was asking, when uh, the revenue coming in, the tax oh. money coming in. Yeah. Does it all arrive here at the same time? Well, pretty, pretty much the, uh, the taxes are due uh, the mid middle of December, December 15th or so, uh, and uh, most of the towns are, in fact, all of the towns for the most part are very much right on time, uh, pay their taxes when they're, when they're due. So as soon as that money hits, we turn around and send it to the uh, whichever bank is the finances from here. Thank you. Okay. Any further questions? Uh, yes, for I'll make a motion to grant the treasurer's request to borrow fifteen million. Second, okay, up to up fifteen to million. million. Okay, all right. There's a motion by Representative Schmidt, second by Representative Knox, to authorize the treasurer to borrow up to fifteen million dollars for anticipation for taxes. Um, question, Representative. Uh, we move that we go into convention. Okay. Well, first of all, let's vote on this one. Oh, okay. All those in favor, um, just say aye. Aye. Okay. aye. Those opposed? Okay, I'll take a motion from Representative Fleck. Yes, we move that we go into convention. Into convention. Is there a second? Okay. Representative Knox. Um, all those in favor of going into convention, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay, we're in convention. <clears throat> now, like a motion from Representative Schmidt to authorize the treasurer to borrow up to $15 million in anticipation of taxes with a second by Representative yes. Knox. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Seeing as we'll do that, um, all those in favor, raise your hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 2, nothing. Good enough. All right, you have your authorization. You. And I'll take a motion from Representative Fleck. Move that we come out of convention. Out of convention with a second by Representative Merrill. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. We're in and out, and we've done our business, and thank you, Trisha, for doing that. Okay. Um, we do have an agenda uh, today. Yeah. You said 11, I think. I only see 10 members. Eight, nine, ten. I'm sorry, so there's just 10 of us. I'm sorry. Eight. Ten. Okay. So instead of eleven to nothing, it's uh, ten to nothing. Do we have another agenda for Representative McCarthy? Yes, let's send that down. Thank you. So who do we have missing? We have three. We have four of us missing. Is Pettengill is the one I didn't get. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Um, all right, uh, let's see. Repres Representative Merrill. Yes, I'd like to make a motion for some honor. Okay, go ahead. I'd like to move that we <coughs> put the old nursing home in mothballs for a period for one year while we have adequate time to study its disposition and use, both by the delegation and the commissioners. And I'd like to speak to my motion if I get a second. Yes, I'll is second there a second it. by Representative Babson? <coughs> the reason that I'm doing this is that for the last God knows how long. Uh, we've been debating what to do with that nursing home. I don't think the delegation has done an adequate job on determining what could be done with it. I don't think the commission has done an adequate job on determining how it could be rented or what could be done with it. I think there's a, there's a hurry to get this done uh, for one reason, because of UNH. Uh, <coughs> UNH extension, I understand, can keep that now where they are for five years if they want to. And uh, I think before we vote to tear this building down or do anything else with it, uh, that we ought to take a good, solid look at it. And I think it would be a mistake if we did. Okay. Representative Babson, would you like to uh, speak to your, your second and then Representative okay. McCarthy? Representative Merrill has adequately expressed my thoughts. Okay. Representative McCarthy and then Representative McConkey. Thank you, Madam Chair. <coughs> Sir, I, I just wonder, have you, have, have, you know, we, in making this motion to mothball that size of a building for a year, have you done any cost analysis on, on what it's going to cost the taxpayers to do that? I haven't, but I know what it's going to cost the taxpayers if we keep fiddling around with this thing, and I know what it's going to cost to tear down, and I don't think it's a good move. Plus, winter is coming to an end pretty well, so I don't think it should be much trouble to mothball it until next fall, which is the year. I haven't, but I think probably... Uh, uh, I'm not sure anybody's done an adequate cost for anything, and that's one of the things that bothers me. 
Representative McConkie and then Representative Fluck. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. I think the um, I think the motion is premature at this time. Um, last week, the uh, building, uh, the old nursing home building committee met, which Representative Merrow is a part of that subcommittee, um, and we were able to uh, we issued a large list of questions to the commissioners, uh, looking for answers, whether it be how much space they're presently using for different operations, how much space they're looking at going forward, uh, what was the process that got us to us got. Uh, us to this point right now um, the subcommittee has not met formally to make a recommendation uh, so I don't I'm sure that there won't be anything coming forward today to do anything any different I disagree wholeheartedly with uh, the representatives point that the delegation has not done an adequate job on what the use of this building should be that is not a function of the delegation. That is a function of the commissioners. Um, and so I would disagree <coughs> with that point. Um, if we're going to vote, I will vote against this. I will say that uh, from our conversation, it was gleaned that um, using the cost estimates that the commissioners have, um, uh, constructing a new building and constructing a standalone building um, it was, it was found that if we were to take the building down to demolish it in total, to build a new building that would house the needs specifically for laundry, um, the furnace, and for maintenance, that it would save the taxpayers in excess of a million dollars. The vote is premature. The, sub the uh, subcommittee has not formed a formal opinion. We're hoping to come before the February 6th to make our recommendation, and I would uh, I would hope that uh, you would allow the subcommittee to do their work. If you take a position now to mothball a building, as Representative McCarthy has mentioned, we have no costs. Uh, I, as part of this delegation, do not care to be voting for things uh, as have been done in the past when we don't have numbers. So what I would ask that uh, mm -hmm. the delegation please abide or please support the uh, work of the subcommittee and uh, vote against this motion. Representative Fleck and then uh, Carthy and Knox. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I have two questions that I would like to uh, uh, address. One, the first is, uh, to which date? Do we have a date specific in mind, uh, Representative Mayor, as to when the mothballing period would be covered? Well, we terminate. Uh, I didn't set a date, but I, I set a year, which would be the end of 212. Okay, the end of 212. Yeah. Okay, so the calendar year. Yeah. And then the other question I have is, uh, prior to that time, I'm, I'm sure that we should be <coughs> placing a boilers, the boilers someplace. Uh, perhaps not. I don't know. But uh, could we could we go move <coughs> forward with that in the mothballing status that we would be in? I, I would think you could because we're talking about the basically the part that hasn't been used anyway as far as I'm concerned like the wings and, and some of the other parts which 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 I would agree uh, with uh, Representative McConkie in that the questions that we've asked have not been answered and rather to have people rush and get the answers let's give them the time and let's do it right so many times we rush through things and we end up with things that we don't like let's get it right this time there's no hurry to do this other than really Okay, I did see that, Commissioner Sorensen. Um, I have um, McCarthy, Knock, and Smith, um, Schmidt in queue. Did you have an answer to Representative Fleck's question? Uh, yes, I have two answers. One, we budgeted thirty thousand to maintain that building for the year. It's in this year's budget. And two, the boilers are on site, going to be placed in the building today. Thank in you. building today. Okay. Uh, Representative McCarthy. Thank you, Madam Chair. Yes, I would, uh, <coughs> I would like to, for the record, mention that at last week's meeting of the uh, the building committee, if you include the three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollar contract for quote unquote installing the boilers, which has already been paid for with the purchase price, so we're paying twice to have the. the the boilers installed. Um, 
if you add that three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars to the cost of, of what it's going to take to re redo the old building for what everybody seems to want, we're looking at two point one seven five million dollars. This is according to the architects and the, the builders and the rest of it. I think that's ludicrous. Um, I agree with uh, Representative uh, McCon McConkey that uh, a vote to put the building in, in, in mothballs is premature. I should wait. I would think we would like to wait until the building committee got its say on the 6th of February <coughs> at, the, at the next meeting. And in the meantime, I would hope that somebody would, would would say something, would do something about this double equity, paying twice to have the same job done. $375,000 to install a boiler that according to the contract, the, all of the installation and everything else is already paid for. So um, that's all, I just wanted to get that out. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay, uh, I say Commissioner Commissioner Solomon, um, and then we have, rep do you have a rep uh, I do. answer, and then it will be Representative Knox and Schmidt. Thank you. As what, as I explained, and as Commissioner Sorensen explained at the subcommittee meeting, this is not a double uh, installation. What they are doing from the boiler company is to bring in the parts and put together the parts <coughs> of the um, boilers. The installation has to do with hooking it up to the various pipes and electricity that is necessary and the further work that has to be done on the room to make it uh, accessible for the usage. Okay, thank you. Representative Knox? Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Chair. I guess some of these questions I had have been answered. Uh, I, uh, I guess I wanted my first uh, reaction or question was, uh, you know, could the subcommittee continue their work under this motion uh, mothballing? Uh, and number two, you know, the details of what, quote, mothballing means, uh, and some of that's coming out. So that's, that's what I wanted okay. to say. I do believe that the subcommittee can do whatever it chooses to do. On that, Representative Schmidt and uh, yes, uh, thank you, Madam yeah, Chair. Uh, I would urge the delegation to vote down the motion. When we met last week, we we spent a a great amount of time listening to the expense elements that were potentially be incurred here. Uh, it appears to be a rather staggering amount of money. Um, in return for what I perceive as not much value to the county. <coughs> Talking to the $375,000, in addition to the $400,000 grant for the pellet boiler, it was explained to us that a lot of that money was required because it, it required a very sophisticated control system to be installed so that you could now control the heat in the old building the new building, the potential for simultaneous operation, very sophisticated, very expensive. I would ask the committee again, vote this down, let the subcommittee make its recommendation, which will be in a couple weeks, and then you have an opportunity to vote this up and down based on how we put this forward to you. I would also suggest to the delegation that mothballing this thing for a year is de facto giving approval to maintain the old nursing home. Kicking this can down the road isn't going to be to the benefit of anybody, particularly when it comes to the heating costs, installing a, this pellet boiler, and whatever. In a very short period of time, we've examined a great deal of information. I would request, let us do our work, let us come back, you will have the information in front of you, and then you can vote it up or down. Thank you. Representative Merrill. Yes, yeah, so this is a question for the commissioners. Uh, am I correct? This, we keep kicking this three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars down the road. Right. But am I not correct that the contract for this has already been signed? Yes, it has. And if it has, how are you going to get out of it anyway? Yeah. And we've already paid a down payment. Yeah, that's all. So it seems to be. Crazy. Seems to be. Uh, well, I don't disagree with, with Representative McCarthy that this is high. I don't think this should certainly be included as part of the cost of uh, 
retaining a nursing home because it looks to me like we're locked into paying this money anyway. Representative McConkey and then McCarthy. Uh, thank you, Madam <coughs> Chairman. Uh, to Representative Knox's question, um, Representative Schmidt has uh, shined a lot of light on the work of last week uh, for hours and questions and so forth and details that we've looked for and, and where we need to go forward. Uh, I, I would say to you, Representative, that if you were to provide us one week to allow our subcommittee to come back with a recommendation, um, then uh, I think this motion might be uh, in order possibly at next week's or at the next meeting. Please support the board, the subcommittee. Okay. Representative McCarthy. Thank you, Madam Chair. I don't want to beat a dead horse to death, but I, for the record, I want it out that the commissioners put out a bid and the bid stated quote unquote to install the boilers they let that bid and then they accepted a bid of three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars everything that's in that bid is already paid for according to the contract the purchase contract not only is the installation included with the crane, to move it, to put it in the building, to get it fired up, to get it hooked up, to test it, to fine tune it, and to teach the members of the maintenance department here at the county how to use it properly. All, every bit of that is covered in the contract. When I brought it up last <coughs> week over at the building, there were a lot of mouths that all of a sudden dropped open. And they said, oh well, you're not paying us to install it. You're paying us to hook it up. And then I brought it out. Wait a minute. It also says that it includes hooking it up, testing it, firing it up, fine-tuning it, and everything else. So my question is again, for the record, why are we paying $375,000 to a company when all of that has already been paid for and is in a contract? Thank you. Thank you, Representative Flood. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman. A uh, question for the Commission is, did anyone ever seek a legal opinion as to what was provided within that contract or within the purchase agreement? And was there, if, if not, uh, I would ask, uh, why not? Um, it was not passed by a, an attorney to look at the contract that I'm aware of. Um, the installation that the boilers contract hooks up the storage unit and the stuff that goes into the boiler, the conveyor and so forth of the pellets. Uh, there are pumps that are also included that are laying over there now inside the old nursing home that need to be connected. That's the company's installation. <coughs> they had nothing to do with the building itself, as far as putting in double doors, tearing up the tile, uh, putting in a cement slab, uh, connecting up the pipes from the boiler to our system, uh, that's not included in the installation for the boilers. I'm sure the boilers could be connected up as far as their contract is concerned. We'd have to put electricity to it, but it could be tested without connecting it up to anything. Yes, follow. The uh, work that has been done on the physical plant, the, the flooring, the yep. removal of the tile, and those kinds of things, the right. doors and so forth, are those items included in the $375,000? Yes, they are. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And I would, if I could make another comment, um, yes, we've got uh, $775,000 invested in those boilers. The payback is about six years. Okay, uh, Representative Merrow and then Representative McCarthy. Uh, and then question I'm going to question okay. of the commissioners, if I may, and then a Go comment. Ahead. What would happen? You said the boilers are coming in, are going to be installed today. Or coming they're in over there right now. Now, what happens if they're in there and all of a sudden we decide to tear down this nursing home? It's going to cost some money. It's going to cost the taxpayers some money. And, and, and my, my second thing that bothers me is we've, we've got these costs, which I've not really seen in writing yet, whether it's part of the subcommittee or anything else, but uh, 
I'm not convinced that if you take the, the total cost of tearing down the old building, which may have some asbestos or may not or whatever, uh, versus the repairing of this building, which we discussed at some point, at least for UNH, and balance that against the and balance that against the income which we could get if we were able to fill those buildings, which in my opinion you people haven't done the right job as far as trying to get them to fill yet, and I don't mm -hmm. know if I blame you because you don't know if they're going to be there. But uh, if you balance all that out, uh, I don't see why you couldn't do this. And I'm not a person to take, uh, I'm not a person who believes in floating bonds or anything else, but if you fix that up and float it a bond, I will bet you that, that the the savings, the $40,000 a year that we're currently paying for UNH, would probably pay for that bond. Yes, it and, would. And so, in fact, it wouldn't cost us that much, but that's a comment that I have on it. Okay. <coughs> Representative Merrill. Representative McCarthy. Thank you, Madam Chair. I, I have in my hand here the document from Biomass, and it states right in here that the uh, installation, startup, and owner training is included in the purchase price. It also goes on to, 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 to just uh, add on to what the, uh, the commissioner said. It gives uh, a breakdown of what installation includes. Boiler placement and equipment is assembly. Silo placement, erection and fuel conveyance installation. Commissioning, startup, fine tuning including visits by factory technicians and training of the in-house personnel. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, you know, uh, $375,000 to put some tile down and put a door in so that they can bring the... Who's kidding who? Okay, thank you. Can I move the question or is it... Uh, yes, Representative Narrows moved the question. Representative McConkey does have his hand up. Do you want to listen to Representative McConkey or do you want to call the question? All those in favor of calling the question, say aye. 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 Vote not. No. 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 Okay. Go ahead, Representative McConkey, and then Traganza. Thank you. Um, I um, I think um, the the question uh, by the representative as to the uh, commissioners <coughs> as to whether they've run this by uh, review, I think would take the uh, salt out of the whole discussion, and I'm not quite sure where we left that. Representative Fleck had asked if. Um, I would I would highly recommend, uh, in addition to Representative Fleck, that the question be asked to review the contract. Uh, excuse me, not the bidding process, but the contract uh, that was awarded for the uh, purchase of this, and find out the validity and answer the question if installation means up and running, and uh, or whether uh, there are other costs associated to that. I think that money is well spent if we do that. Okay, Representative Traganza. Oh, I was just going to ask Representative Merrill if um, uh, if if the motion could be withdrawn, considering the fact that uh, we're waiting for the nursing home old nursing home committee to bring in this report. Probably could be, but I'm not willing to do it. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Any further discussion? Yes, Representative Babson and then Schmidt. Um, we've listened to a lot of discussion about <coughs> installation, and as far as I'm concerned, the only gray area in this, forget whether it's expensive or inexpensive, the only gray area seems to be moving the piece of equipment into the building. We've heard Bonnet Page and Stone, or I have, say several times they've got to rent a crane to get it in, um, and yet in my in in my opinion installation is getting it into the building and putting it on the pad and having the wires hanging out so our electricians can hook it up i uh, call both the chairman of the delegation and the chairman of the um, commissioners and suggested that perhaps we get the gentleman in from biomash to tell us what their definition of installation is because as i say the only gray area to me seems to be are we paying twice to uh, to hire a crane to move it in there, or a skid loader, or however, however the riggers get it in there? Okay. Thank you, Representative Schmidt. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, it, it seems to me that this this whole question now is being forced on one issue, and that issue is the installation of a pellet boiler that must take place. Really, 
how about we store the building until we come up with a decision? And if we have to incur some additional costs for <coughs> installing it at a, at a date,